close to meet in front of the fire. Uh, it's a significant piece here in the kitchen at Selgrave Manor. Uh, while the contents of this kitchen are 18th century, uh, a spitjack like this would not have been unusual in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Now there were different ways and methods employed to uh, turn the spit. Um, little boys would be sat here and uh, turn the spit, they were called uh, turn spits. And then sometimes the dog would be put in a cage on a sort of treadmill, treadmill, a bit like a, a hamster going round in a wheel and that would turn the spit. And then also fans would be placed up in the chimney and they would turn uh, in the draught created by the fire. Now, this bit has a nice heavy weight here, uh, lead encased in brass, and it would be wound up to the top every 10 minutes or so by this handle and then allowed to drop back down. And as it did so, this barrel and the cogs would turn, which then would turn the spit, this rope attached in this groove on this wooden wheel on the end of the spit, would then turn the spit. And different size spits would be used for different um, amounts of meat or joints of meat. Uh, very often, um, several joints of meat would be cooked on the same spit at the same time. You just have to remember to put the, the piece of meat that needed the longest cooking time on first, and then the meat that needed the least amount of cooking time on last.